Many parents of young children want to keep them away from guns, but a growing number are now actually putting guns into their kids' hands. But why? Here's Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang. Line is hot. Everybody's got eyes and ears on. Night. These girls are grade schoolers. Most are still losing baby teeth. Nice! Perfect. Look at that. But home on this range outside of Austin, Texas, playdates require serious firepower. Tell them what her name is. What's your rifle Bar name? Barbie. Is it because it's pink? <laughs> yeah. Vanessa is one of seven pint-sized shooters attending what's called the Little Girls Youth Training. Put that safety down. Good girl. Part of a growing trend promoting shooting sports for kids. When I shoot, I think it's so much fun than playing with anything else that's in my room. Vanessa's just seven, but the gun industry is looking for young shooters like her to ensure growth in the future. When you teach kids that young, you take the mystery out of the gun. They know to respect it if you teach them to respect it. Okay, it's all wow. safe. Nikki Jones leads the Austin Sure Shops, a women's only shooting club that runs the kids' training course. Though this event is independently sponsored, turns out the National Rifle Association and other industry-sponsored organizations pour tens of millions of dollars every year into youth shooting programs nationwide. But should children this young really be trusted with potentially lethal force? So what we always start with are the four basic six of firearm safety. Nikki begins with the fundamentals. Rule number one, treat every firearm like it's loaded. Golden rules of shooting that the girls who range in age from six to 11 seem to have down cold. Don't point your gun at anything that you're not gonna kill or destroy. A critical lesson since once almost every hour in America, a child or teen is injured or killed by a gun, often fired accidentally by other children. What made you think? Okay, she's six. She's ready to try this. She has seen the weapons in our gun safe, um, and she was asking questions. That, for us, was an important time to utilize that to educate her. Safety, drop your magazine. Some liken it to playing okay. with fire, but Vanessa's mom believes training with guns yeah. will actually make her daughter safer. She keeps several guns, including Barbie, locked up at home. The star of the event is nine-year-old Gia Rocco, who shoots like a regular Annie Oakley. Good. Give me three on the right. Skills that Nikki says are about sportsmanship, not self-defense. We don't teach them to shoot around barricades. We don't teach them to clear rooms. We don't teach them what happens in a carjacking. I mean, this is, it's pure sport. And for a promising Good. sharpshooter like Gia, training doesn't stop here. You want to take us into the trailer? Oh, sure, yeah. The next day, she and her dad invite us over. Well, this is um, where we clean the gun. That's the art table. The art table next to the gun table. Nice. Gia still loves her Legos and her pet spider. I don't like, you know, princesses and stuff. I'm not a princess. But hold the tiaras. Half of Gia's rifles. How many do you have in there? These are clearly her prized possessions. Wow, that's like an arsenal. This one right here is my favorite. That's my eight shooter. What do you love call gun. this one? Your love gun. My love gun. It's got hearts all over it. Yes, it does. All of my rifles and pistols. There's a lot of people looking at this will scratch their heads and say, why does a nine-year-old girl need all these guns and rifles? Well, they all have different uses. I mean, like some competitions, practice. Ski. The gun business is booming, with sales spiking even after Newtown. That's an AR, obviously. But analysts say that's because those who own guns are buying more guns. Overall, national surveys indicate gun ownership is decreasing. This one. Young hotshots like Gia represent a demographic that the industry considers vital to the future of gun sports. She has a fan page and her own industry sponsors. Stand by. Her dad, Adolfo, hopes sharpshooting will someday pay off for Gia with a college scholarship. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> or even Olympic gold. And when she isn't training, her dad says her guns are strictly off limits, kept locked away, even though Adolfo believes Gia would never disobey him. Man, I would bet my, my life that she would never touch a gun that, that she wasn't supposed to. I would bet my life on it easily. Right? Right. Not when you're ready. Shoot her ready. But critics argue that's a risky bet for most parents. Training and trust may not be enough to prevent accidents. Kids and guns, they say, simply don't mix.
kids are impulsive and you can't teach that out of a kid, right? You can't. Dr. Denise Dowd helps write policy for the American Academy of Pediatrics. She says kids' brains aren't mature enough. They lack impulse control. You can teach them, they can pair it back, but they should not be in independent control of that weapon. In her Kansas City Children's Hospital alone, there are 30 to 50 cases annually. Tragedies, she says, that are entirely preventable. If you don't trust your kids 100% of the time, especially when it comes to something that is so high risk. Our colleagues at 2020 put the question of impulse control to the test with a series of hidden camera experiments. These boys and girls in Florida are trained to never touch a gun without an adult. They even memorize the NRA's popular Eddie Eagle safety video. Now stop! Don't touch! But when left unsupervised with real unloaded weapons hidden in plain sight, nearly half of the boys act on impulse. <laughs> Eight out of 23 of the girls do, too. Oh, my gosh, why are there bazookas? Instead of calling for an adult, they play with the weapons, sometimes mistaking them for toys. They're not real. This pink gun is called the Cricket. Manufactured by Keystone, it's one of several rifles on the market designed to appeal to kids. Dude, that is a real gun. It's not funny. Nearly half of guns in this country are not locked away properly, and guns accidentally kill kids in the U.S. 10 times more often than any other developed country in the world. How many times does it have to happen before people say it's enough, it's enough for me? It's enough for me, I, I didn't choose to sacrifice my child to this. The children and I keep a watchful eye on his candles. Jody Sandoval keeps a memorial for her son Noah in her Columbus, Ohio living room. He was just 14 when he and his best friend Levi were playing at Levi's grandparents' house. Levi found a gun behind the television. He removed the clip and he pointed it at Noah and he fired a shot. He didn't realize there was a bullet in the chamber. Listen as his shaken 14-year-old friend is questioned by police. And the bullets were out and everything. I was holding my hand and I pulled the trigger and it, I thought it hit the wall and it hit him. Throughout his interrogation with police, Levi has no idea his gunshot was fatal. Do you think we should tell him what happened here? I do too. Noah didn't make it. Noah's dead. Levi pled guilty to reckless homicide and was sentenced to a year of probation. His baby blanket. Noah's mom, Jody, says she doesn't blame Levi for her son's death. During trial, she even asked the judge to lower his sentence. While Levi made a horrible, terrible mistake, it wasn't an accident that a gun was left out where it could have been stored and knocked away. While 14 states have safe storage laws, which studies show reduce accidental shooting deaths among kids, Ohio has no such law. If it saves one person from the horror of what my family and I are facing, just one, it's enough. The NRA, which turned down our multiple requests for an interview, has repeatedly opposed such laws, saying they infringe on gun owners' rights to effectively protect their homes. But the organization does recommend that guns should be stored securely until ready for use, making sure that they're not accessible to children. Back on the range, safety is always a top priority for the sure shots. I have to say, all of you were very safe. Youth training day ends with diplomas. All right, first we're going to look really neat. And a very memorable class photo. Smile. Amy, look this way. It's clear these kids and their parents believe deeply in the right to bear arms at any age. What remains unclear is whether this new generation of shooters will bring new life to a $30 billion industry. Our thanks to Juju for that report. Does teaching children to shoot guns make them safer? Tell us at Nightline.